text us or leave a voicemail. We'll play it on the pod. We'll respond to it. We'll do whatever. 603-922-4074. Email us at Brutes Were... Sorry, different company. Uh, Brutalview at... Gmail. Gmail. Gmail.com. <laughs> Gmail, Ken. Uh, yeah, that's it for the plugs, right? right. Do you hear that? This is when you're going to do it. The, it's a drum roll. The... <laughs> Watched. You finally watched Django and James. Fucking Django. Have you ever seen Django? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I couldn't believe the part of the movie where they dropped the N word, bro. That was <laughs> the biggest part of the movie for me. <laughs> yeah. Which um, which number made you uncomfortable? <laughs> One hundred, two hundred. I think it was in the thousands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I noticed that's... they kind of were like they were dropping the hard art, and then they're just like, all right, let's just say ah, that's my ah, and I'm like, no, it ain't that bad anymore. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it was rough. I think when that movie came out, it was so like fifty fifty. Like everyone was like, uh, "This is fucked up that they were saying this this many times." But it was amazing yeah, type dude, of thing. That movie's fire, dude. Yeah, it's a very good movie. Very That's good. gonna be a new weekly segment too, bro. I watch a crazy movie I've never watched before. Oh my god, I have a list of at least fifty. We've already discussed like fifty on this pod that yeah. you haven't watched before. What's What's the next movie? The next one you should watch. Yeah. Um. It, the was it The Departed? You haven't seen one of those classic oh, I've seen movies. The Departed, I was yeah. say. Which have you one? Seen Casino. Casino's a classic. I, f- I feel like I have. It's a long one, though. It's Pulp like Fiction. I have not seen Pulp Fiction. Oh, nice. That should be your next one. Pulp Fiction's real good, too. I'm just going right. to train you. Yeah. Make you watch every good movie once per week. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's going to be next week's. That's a good, that's a good thing. And but you yeah. should do a military story at out the of, end of this. I'll have to think of one. Okay. So out of. Um, how do we want to put this without getting really bad? <laughs> Are you gonna get racist? <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rate it. Ah, okay. But it's gonna be out of something very racial out of the movie. One out of ten, Sam Jacksons. No, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it nine point two plantations out of ten. There you go. And you hit it right on the head. Welcome back to the brutal view. This is episode twenty eight. I'm John. Eric. This is Dawson. Dawson is our special guest this episode. Um, I wanted to start with a really random thing. You know how when people are like, oh, I'm not a doctor, but just that sentence right there before yeah. they say anything else. I'm not a doctor, but you might need stitches. Yeah. Or, I'm not a doctor, but you might be fucked up. Yeah. That shit pisses me off so fucking much. Yeah. And it kind of applies to like everything. Like, like even like if you're if there's like people cooking, it's like yeah, well I'm not a chef, but it's like then shut the fuck up, yeah. stop talking right there. Like <laughs> yeah, your underqualified opinion doesn't matter here. Exactly. Yeah, right. See, I'm not a cop, but I think yeah. no, 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 no. That doesn't work for like psychopaths. Yeah, like someone kills his. I'm family. not a murderer, but I would have hit the body <laughs> two feet lower than that, <laughs> right? And then put illegal plants on top of it so no one can dig it up. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Like, come on. I don't know. That shit pisses me off. It happened to me uh, recently, but I don't really want to talk about it because it was someone who listens to the podcast. They know I'm talking about it. I told them. I was like, that was fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> like, I pretty much like told them. Like, yeah. It really uh, grinded my gears, um, to say the least. That's free speech, though. Anyone can throw their underqualified opinion at you if, yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not black. But <laughs> exactly, that's another great example. Like, yeah. come on, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I can't deal with those. Um, so I guess we could talk about uh, just because it was recent and to start off the show, uh, Roy Jones Jr. and Mike Tyson, dude, dude, or Nate Robinson dude. and Jake Paul, because we can get into all of it. Like, <laughs> that was good. I, it's okay, fight. Illegally stream that fight. Same for the record, Same. on record, yeah. but. The fucking, so I watched the Nate Robinson, Jake Paul one on the sh- same stream, right? I'm like, all right, sweet. Like, this is a real stream. The fucking beginning of the Mike, the Tyson fight, bro, it shut down, bro. Oh, no. Black screen, and everyone in the comments is just like, F, rip, fuck. What were oh, you? what the fuck? Well, I guess I can't ask the website, right? Like, the provider. I have no idea. I was going to say, if you used, uh, yeah, no, never mind. I won't, I won't rat on those companies. Have, did you see the fights? Yeah, I watched them. Did you buy them? Yeah, my friend did, but. They were okay. I mean, like, the Jake Paul Nate Robinson fight was, like, hilarious for yeah. what it was, but I just feel so bad for him. Cause, yeah. Like, I feel like I could fight Jake Paul. Yeah. I feel like I could beat the fuck out of Nate Robinson. Too. I was going to say, like, if anything, well, I feel is, like I could kill Nate Robinson. He didn't really train. He didn't. 
I don't think all. he took and it he seriously. Looked like, he looked like he took like a 90 day camp and yeah. like just fucking walked. Like he was ready for like a street fight, bro. At one time I was like, <laughs> yo, he's about to like go for like a leg sweep, dude, or something. Yeah. Dude, why didn't he put his hands up and why did he keep charging him? I was getting so aggravated. Like I yo, was like literally just like. The fuck out. The yeah. Whole world. It just shows you like what two years of training boxing. Because like, what does that guy have? Like to do, he makes YouTube videos. He, he is of him boxing. Like, <laughs> right. He's knocked some people out. I did some research on him after that. Yeah, he's been in two fights before this, and I'm pretty sure he knocked both of them out. No or shit. He knocked someone out, and I don't know if he knocked the other one out. But he been knocking people out. Like. I think I could do it, bro. But like, he's a Conor, like Conor McGregor, bro. Like you're gonna get smacked the fuck around, bro. If you yeah, fuck. How heavy is he? Um, he's he's like one fifty or one sixty. I think they said. Yeah, well, almost six feet. I'll cut weight to fight him, bro. I'll just sleep in a trash bag twenty four seven. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't. I wanted to break this fight down more, but I didn't think it was worth it because, like, I don't even think Jake Paul can fight that well. It's just because wow. Nate Robinson didn't fucking train. He didn't. It looked like he did no sparring. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see anything that was like crazy. It was kind of like the same interaction every time. Like you said, he just kept charging. Yeah. Threw the hand over the top. The ref crazy. should have stopped it, though. The, the ref should have stopped down, it. That was yeah. a big contribute. He was, like, counting to, like, 11, and he's like, you good? Can I see your hands? And he's like, he's like, no, you got to, like, turn your hands. I'm like, well, like, you should probably yeah. probably cut it off. Yeah. You've had one too many, guy. I don't, I'm not going to lie, man. I think Nate Robinson might have some fucking mental issues after that, and I think he might try to sue that ref, and he's probably going to win. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, right? He should have stopped that fight, but it kind of was worth seeing the knockout out. Like, I was like, okay, I kind of like it now. Like, yeah, they know. probably the ref probably did that because the Mike Tyson fight was no knockouts. They were like, yeah, we, we made like, people pay for this. We like, need a knockout to die, right? bro. Yeah. Dude, they, but it's just like... They left him like unconscious, bro. Like, didn't even move him. So long. I feel like it was you like should like move six him. seconds before there was like three people. Around. I was like, like that's bro, a come fact. On. Should we flip him over? Like, he's he's well down on that side, guy. I feel like we should put him on his back now, bro. Nah, this ain't looking he too was well. Knocked out, dude. Yeah. Like that was a good night. <laughs> yeah. It was it like right here? Just. Yeah, I don't. Mm, I would not want to get hit. I think it was that same slow ass. Right hook was it or a left? I don't. He it threw right, Ooh, right wow. hook, and I don't know. He knocked out the other dudes with that. So obviously Nate Robinson didn't do any training. But the punch looks fucking heavy. It looked. It did look. Yeah, it, it looked was diesel. Solid, yeah. <laughs> dude, he got knocked out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, rip. Rest in peace to Nate Robinson. Yeah. But the I, Tyson uh, fight, bro. I was I... just gonna say. I thought that was dope. I it was better than I thought it would be, but Mike definitely held the fuck back. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. I mean, you saw it though, like it was like the th- last 3 rounds, it was like a good like 2 2 or 3 like 30 second spurts where you're like, "Holy shit." Yeah. But I mean, I thought he was going to at the end, bro. I thought they were just going to scrap it out at the end and I was like, "Oh, you're right." <laughs> I thought at the end, bro, they're just going to go Fuck it, we're making money. Yeah. That would have been... Dude, imagine that. Like, at the end, they just start swinging and beating the shit out of each other, and then... Oh, I don't... They could probably have gotten seriously hurt, but... Well, they fucking changed... Remember what we were talking about, and they... Dude, they changed the rules. Yeah. Changed no knockout. And no. But, yeah, so it was like they were yeah, saying no headshots, no knockouts, right. or anything. Yeah. yeah. And you can wait... Like, it was, they were going to do headgear, I guess, I was reading, and then they're just like, fuck it. It's just an expedition, so no one's going to win. Yeah. I'm like, so someone could get knocked out right now, and boy? Roy Jones Jr. is like, no, I don't want to draw. It's like, <laughs> shut the fuck. You lost, dude. Like, come on. I don't know. I think I do think Mike Tyson was in a lot better shape than Roy Jones Jr. I think he's going to fight, fight. I think he is, too. Yeah, Evander I mean, Holyfield, bro. Oh, that'd be sick. I think it's happening. They could do Vanda a main Holyfield. card of that. They just did it with this. I mean, like, that was like an okay fight. Fight night for no, I 60 think it's, bucks or whatever it was. That, I think they're going to fucking like... I actually was like, pretty impressed by this for the price. They didn't do it. 
Bro, what was I up mean, with Snoop Dogg? Bro? That's what I mean, dude. It, Snoop <laughs> was there. It was oh, sponsored yeah, yeah, by the, Weed all Maps. The, all like, the artists that and, did that. Dude, yeah. the, did you see like one of the beginning fights? These two dudes like weren't blocking at all. They just went up there and just beat the shit out of each other, and none of them went down. Oh, like really? they were just like smacking each other around. I don't know what they were called. That they were both Hispanic gentlemen, and they were wailing on each other. Like I didn't see that one. Did you watch the beginning ones? I might have seen that, but I didn't think it was that memorable. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I was not paying attention to it. I don't know. Just, just waiting for a main fight, but... It, it was weird when you don't see someone put their hands up in boxing, in, or I guess a fight, and they both like were just constantly swinging. It just looked really goofy to me. I don't know. There's a lot of fighting styles, and I feel like if I even went into a you know, martial art of any kind, boxing or MMA, I'd just be like this brick wall wrestler like, i would yeah. never like <laughs> extend because like every time i True. watch fights happen i'm like i like see them like reach out and i'm like what if the other dude just fuck <laughs> yeah. just right as hard as he i'm can. not a fighter but i would have punched him like that yeah i'm not a fighter because i don't want that one punch <laughs> that just perfectly connects and it's like lights out yeah <laughs> like what know. happened to nate robinson <laughs> what was the um the name of that uh uh company that held it was a triller or thriller thriller oh, yeah they yeah. like they like trash tiktok in like the opening and they were sponsored by weed maps yeah that's pretty dope dude you could tell this was just like a shit show event they just threw together because no big event wanted to. there wasn't even like stands like they weren't even right. in a real stadium they just like put a no, ring i think they were at in, the like, random place staples center but they blocked everything off so they got separate rings i thought i heard so they have to keep cleaning them and shit. Oh, man. Oh, um, that makes that would, sense. Yeah. It does make sense. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't pay for it, and I was thoroughly entertained for how... Because I didn't expect anything. I guess maybe if I was expecting, like, an actual fight... I think if I knew it was going to be like that, right? I would have paid for it. <laughs> yeah. I, so it wasn't bad. 60 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever the fuck yeah, it is. Yeah. Some dude live-streamed the whole thing on YouTube, and I watched it on what YouTube legend, live. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like worried. It was like that kid on Twitch, dude. Have you ever seen that? Yes. He's pretending he's playing M- uh, UFC, bro. Right. And he's just... <laughs> Mad smart. Mad innovative. Fucking legend. Yeah. What happens with that? Like, when when do you get caught with that? <laughs> I don't... I mean, the... Like, YouTube... When you get caught, do you even get in trouble is the thing? I like... don't know. <laughs> That's Remember, a good like, question. Up Does Amazon more? waste their time freaking suing... Or, like, UFC waste their time... Suing Amazon to sue that streamer who streamed the UFC fights. Right? Yeah. No, I I do think that they they like make it so you can't upload or like live stream or anything anymore. They like permanently shadow something your account. I don't know what it's called. They do something with your account oh, to basically maybe, and then they just like mute it so you can't do shit. I've heard someone com- like bitching about that. I don't know if they still do that though. That was a while ago. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, did, so you think he's going to fight uh, Holyfield next? I think so, bro. I thought I saw them talking about someone else. It's going to be a real fight, and they're going to fuck shit up, dude. I thought it was hilarious. Evander Holyfield was the only person that called out Mike Tyson, and so many people called out Jake Paul on yeah. Twitter like, immediately <laughs> yeah. after the fight. They were like, <laughs> yeah. It's like that's when you have like real respect in boxing. This dude's coming off the ring like, yeah, I want to fight Conor McGregor. And it's like, bro, you fought three times. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Mike Tyson, you're like, dude, you're old enough to die, probably, dude. And yeah. Kudos to you. What if they did a Mike Tyson, Conor McGregor super fight? <laughs> How much money would you pay for that? <laughs> I mean, I'd probably pay to see that no matter what if they actually did dude, that. Dude, they should do Tyson and Floyd Mayweather, dude. Ugh. I think Tyson would get fucked up, though, because he's yeah. quick. Mayweather's quick. If Tyson yeah. could just hit him, then, yeah. then he's game good. Over. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know if he'll be able to hit him. Like clean, like a good and solid hit. That'd be, that'd be sick, dude. Yeah, that that'd be tricky. What did Tyson weigh in at? Uh, he lost a hundred pounds, bro. No way. He's one eighty. Yeah, I don't. He didn't look one eighty. He looked at over two hundred pounds to me. He did look chunk chunky, but he didn't look fat. No, though. He yeah. Didn't, like, he just looked like a fucking. I mean, <clears throat> I was he gonna like say a ripped fifty year old. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That was like a. He looked like Black Joe Rogan, in my opinion. <laughs> that's that's what he looked like to me. True. true. Smaller head. Yeah. How long are you supposed to leave food out for before you still eat it? I guess how long have you left food out for? But still, hot, hot food or cold food? I'd say hot food, and then you left it out. Like pizza. Could be anything. 
Pizza's probably like pizza's like any time go to over under twelve hours. I'll probably eat that. Really, twelve hours, bro? No way. No, maybe like you got six max. That's that quick, bro? Okay, so you think it's quick? I'm gonna put it in the fridge, or just like I know a guy. Something else. True. I know a guy that has left pizza out for a week and still eating it. Oof, I don't know about that. That's not a safe play, dude. I left something in my lunchbox for the weekend, bro, and I got a little mold on it. Yeah. Yum. That's four days, bro. Well, yeah. it's in a container, though. Well, I was it's thinking... It's a dark container. Yeah. <laughs> right? I don't I mean, like, if you get, like, a cooked chicken, and then you leave it out on the table, say it, like, Thanksgiving or something, I don't know. Oh, and you wake up the next day, you're like, oh, let's throw it in the fridge? Not even. Some Thanksgiving dinners go, like, seven, eight hours. I feel like, is that good to eat if it's just sitting out seven, eight hours after? It probably is, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not warm anymore. Yeah, I think if I, like, had dinner at one-ish or, like, mid-afternoon and woke up the next morning, I was like, oh, shit, I'd throw it away. Yeah. What's the grossest thing you guys have ever eaten that maybe has been left out that you didn't realize until afterwards, if that's happened to you? Mm. Probably moldy bread, bro, because it's so sneaky. I think you have told me that, or mentioned that. Yeah? I don't think you said you did it. I think you just said. Oh. I don't know. But, yeah, yeah moldy bread, probably. Yeah. Probably just like stale chips or like really old pizza. Maybe like maybe like pizza I ordered on Friday. Pizza. <laughs> pizza I ordered on Friday night. Ate it like Saturday night. Just like yeah. Threw it in the microwave. Ate like the day old soggy microwave pizza. That's the worst, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It wasn't good. <laughs> so That's that probably just... mine too. I've, I'm not gonna lie though. It's disgusting. I've eaten pizza that that was out for like four days and I didn't know. Because they, uh, well, the place I, I was at was really scummy, and they ordered pizza three or four days prior and just didn't throw it out, and they ordered new pizza, so I thought it was a part of the same well, box. Well, was it, like, in the fridge? No, it was just oh, sitting, okay. on, a, it was sitting it was on a beer pong table in the corner. Oh. <laughs> and I opened the box, and it was almost a full pizza. I was like, this must be what they ordered, and I ate it. And they're like, yeah, the pizza's not here yet. I'm like, bleh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, it didn't taste bad. Is what, you know, it didn't didn't look moldy or anything. It just it was sitting at room temperature. It wasn't like wicked hot out. I don't know if that mattered, but that's a trick, bro. It's all that fake shit they use. That's true. I mean, pizza's pretty real. It's just cheese sauce, bread. Yeah, but I feel like it's. Yeah, I don't imagine that they used like a. No, but I feel like if you made your own like homemade pizza, go shittier than the pizza they made. Yeah. Wouldn't like real ingredient, I guess you could say. Yeah, probably. Using that real cheese, definitely, because fucking... I mean, I guess... Well, cheese don't... I don't know. Yeah, true, It depends. I, I'm pizza. trying to think of certain cheeses, cheese but... Cheese is already, like, mold-going <laughs> milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheese is diesel. I love no, cheese. so good. <laughs> I feel bad for lactose intolerant people, because, mm-hmm. like, they're the only, like, food allergy that you can, like, power through it. Right, you just yeah. get like a stomach ache so like they can experience cheese and like unlike peanut butter people like peanut butter people experience like one time when they're five almost die yeah and never yeah. have it again have a reaction <laughs> yeah but like lactose intolerant people they just power through an ice cream they're like oh my stomach hurts you're like i'm gonna shit all night but fuck it yeah. <laughs> well i i have very aggressive shitting habits and i was lactose intolerant when i was a kid but i still i never stopped consuming dairy products like i never even cut down Fuck that could be why I shit aggressively. Yeah. But it doesn't bother me. It's probably a root cause. Like, monkeys don't eat dairy. You're probably not meant to eat dairy in the evolutionary line. Just your mom's milk. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I didn't think about it like that. Oh. That does suck. Imagine being lactose intolerant and then just like... Because I'm obsessed with queso, man. Oof. I'd still do it. Oh. I mean, I still do it. I don't know if I... Yeah. Fuck them. Who knows? Do you uh, guys think we'll run out of hunting animals anytime soon? No. Depends where you're talking about, but like... I'd say America. (laughs) America? What do you think America is going to run out? I feel like we're good for another like 100 years. Oh, yeah. I think we're good for a while. Right? But like... Because they're still... It's not the hunting that's killing them. It's the building the houses. Yeah. (laughs) The deforestation and shit. But I mean, I I was thinking like if something like COVID happened... 
and did affect oh, all the full, animals. Full locked. Oh, the COVID affected the animals. Yeah, and didn't affect like the people. Like, what if like I mean, a COVID? They already have that, don't they? Don't they have a few? It's like swine flu, right? Yeah. Well, they have some shit that goes around that only animals can get, but it's. I don't think it's as severe. There's one that uh, an antelope or something, an animal out west can get. Oh, so you're talking about like and uh, animal aids, basically. Animal viruses. Oh. I'm kind of getting at and they what die. if a virus takes out half the fucking animals? No, so get this. So you the know? one that they can get has a 100% lethality rate. Okay, well, say hypothetically, half the animals die. And this virus just already kicked up ten times. The one that's already out and yeah. keeps going, you know? What do we do? Make Feel a like vaccine we... for animals and track them down. Now. Right? <laughs> Force them to repopulate? That's I probably like what we would do. Just basically domesticate them for like a couple Decades. generations <laughs> until you have like a decent herd. Then you're like, all right, welcome back to your yeah, wildlife we, life I think where we, we can... occasionally hunt you, but you'll learn. Can we survive on just um, like vegetable shit without animals? Well... Oh, yeah, probably. Right? We can. Easily. I think we can. Beans, bro. Can, um, like, is the animals, like, is it affecting just the way we eat or nature? Because it'll fuck up nature. But if we're just saying eating wise. I'd say it just murders the animals, leaves nature be. All the bison and deer and cow are just getting fucking raped. Fuck them. Because we have so many chickens and, like, cows we have already. Okay, bro. like chickens and any animal that you can eat. <laughs> All like, animals are gone? We have, is like, that what we're saying? I'll just chickens. throw, I'll pick it up a notch. Any animal you can eat. <laughs> No, so I'm saying, like, we have, like, contained chickens. Like, right, so many right. Of them. So that's, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I feel yeah, like right. that would save, like, that's us a good from point. Not having, we'd meat. have to do that with other animals. Just put them in, like, just have a bunch of elephants fucking in your backyard, bro. <laughs> in, like, a giant warehouse. Eat elephants. You but probably just probably take can. all the chicken eggs they have in, like, market basket and just, like, inject them in to make them be grow. Born again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> put them in the ground. <laughs> uh, we could probably do it. Yeah. I mean, that's probably... I think we could make it. Yeah, I was going to say... If that happens, just total wipeout. Because I can't be surprised. I feel like 2020 was almost a human wipe... Not almost a human wipeout, but the scare of a human wipeout. We could do potential. it, bro. We could do it? We got Impossible Meats now, dude. Why do I know what that is? Like, it's like vegan meat. Yeah. Faux meat. Yeah. So, like, we could always Good have though. meat, but it's not meat. Have meat you had it? I've had meat yet. I've had Impossible Meat and uh, what's the other one? It's like gardenia chicken sausage or something like that. I feel like I've had that before. I don't remember what it tasted like though. I was pretty drunk. What did when what did it taste like that you ate? The Impossible Whopper or like burger. I got it at uh, TGI Fridays. Pretty good. I imagine I mean, it, it just would... tasted like. Have you had like a black bean burger? No. No, have you had a veggie burger? No. Okay, well then I can't. can't <laughs> had a turkey that. burger and I'm not a fan. <laughs> no, it doesn't, doesn't taste, taste like different. that. It doesn't really taste different. It has like this hint of plant to it. Okay. I would imagine it would taste like the seasonings and condiments anyways, never mind yes. just the fact yes, that that shit's also, on it. Most of my mouth tastes obviously Cause like Because I'm never going to just... Yeah, I'm never just going to eat a burger by itself. I'm always putting shit on it, so I imagine if I'm eating a veggie burger... It'd be the same way. Do you need us to anal? No. Okay. Yeah, if you need us to cut anything out, just scream anal. Yeah, yell anal, and I'll know where to edit. Okay. If you have to scream it so the neighbor's like, damn, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, animals, uh, if they all die, we're good. We'll keep this planet going. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. We'll make it. We're not scientists, we'll but make we it. make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's going to be the name of the episode. I'm not a doctor. Yeah. I'm, I'm no, not a, we would get a doctor. I'm not a to underscore underscore. Into new <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> if you guys, uh, if we went into like an apocalypse, do you think you'd, what would, you, what would your profession be? Because it's like, no, it's like you're starting at scratch again. So. Oh, yeah. I'd be a bounty hunter, bro. Where are we in the apocalypse? I'd... What stage? Because like, that's very important. Are we on a compound? <laughs> are we in like, okay. day one? Good, good question. <laughs> We're in uh we're in day 60. We have made it to a camp and we've set up a ground. We have like a we have a campground. We have we have shelter and shit, you know. We have rooms. We have like pots we can cook in and we enough. So we're doing pretty tribe. we're doing pretty good for 60 days. Yeah. yeah we're, we're I'd be a bounty hunter still. 
<laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> just murder other people in yeah, the apocalypse. Dude, fuck them. <laughs> we need shit. And I'll wear a hat. Okay. Well, yeah, that's not necessarily You'll a bounty hunter. Just go hunt other groups. You won't just be like. <laughs> this is, I, I feel know, like you I'll shouldn't like... call it a bounty hunter because there's no bounties on anyone in. No, like I'll right? find someone. We'll find another group and like, oh, this guy stole from us. I'd be like, I got you. You'll and be then, okay. Yeah. You'll be sheriff. You justified that well. <laughs> that was a good explanation. You're not going to be the bandit. Like some, You're going to be like sheriff. Some, like, red hair <laughs> that's what I, I was just thinking of. That. What, what do you think you would be? I don't know. Yeah. It'd be tough. Probably would try to get into like sustainable farming, something that like. I was gonna say I like farming, but like the or I think I like hunting. Just too. like straight up gathering, just like going out like solo run, like oh we need whatever like, and a little bit of everything, pills. right? Yeah, like you can just like go raid the already is it a, raided is it stores. No, it's just uh, I don't know. Uh, Planet got hit by a sun flare. That'd be sick, dude. I'd love to live through that. I'd love to live That'd through be that. sweet, dude. Imagine, what would like, what would need to be gone uh, for that to happen? Like, I think like technology. New York. Yeah, we'd have to be EMP'd Boston. from the yeah. hip. Right, technology then, has to be gone. I feel like that would set us back, anyways. Even if we're currently right now, and all technology went away. Ooh, I watched Ooh, another movie, gets, dude. Which I one? just remembered. I wanted to bring up. I'm going to bring it up now because we're kind of on it. Snowden, bro. Really good movie, dude. Is the one on the train. No, no. This that's is a, a good movie too. Snow Piercer or something so, like yeah, that. Snow, it's that's a, a Edward fucking good Snowden, movie. bro. The yeah, guy that worked for the um, government. Good ass shit. Oh. And he really like Wiki, he was like WikiLeaks. The he, actor who played that dude really leaked, good. All the alien is that him? No, no, he like leaked like how the government listens to us and how uh, much like it's fucked. Dude, and they that like, fucked. like they, they made him like a traitor like of the can. country. <laughs> yeah, he's not. I think he had proof, though. If we have the technology. Like, it, it wasn't that. Like, even back then, I feel like a, a smart, intelligent person, if you sat down with them, you're from the future, and you're like, hey, if you really think about it, if you can call and talk to someone over in California, don't you think someone else can listen uh, to that yeah. line? Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, it went over how, like, how much they actually do it, though, and what oh. they can get away with. And what they were taking, right? Yeah, like, so, like, if the I, like... information they were taking. If, like, me and him were on the phone, I said something about, like, a bomb... They'd be like, oh, okay, like let's let's track Eric and John. Oh, this is Eric's mom and dad, so we're gonna listen to them. Oh, this is their mom and dad. Oh, this is their friend that is associated with Eric. They do that shit, bro. And well, all you I were bet. saying I mean, is like, a joke. <laughs> huh? And all yeah. you were saying the whole time was a joke, and now they're all listening to you. Yeah. It's fucked. They have to do that though, because like. Look I at, actually look at what happens at the extreme. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. mind it to a degree. I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. I feel like it's... I wonder it's... what the statistic is on, like, CIA stoppings that it... they, like, don't even go oh, to the public. Yeah. Or, like, FBI, like... Oh, it must be high. Just, like, pre... Dude, my fucking brother was on, like, watching a live stream once, and some kid was commenting that he was gonna blow up a fucking church, bro. Or shoot up a <laughs> church that weekend, bro. Like, getting into detail about it. So my brother <laughs> called the FBI, bro. <laughs> Ooh. And what? they like found the kid, bro. <laughs> Good. No. I like, mean, like, I shouldn't have laughed at that. That was bad. <laughs> Dude, at, it's I wild. just didn't expect I mean, it. I think. Number one, if if you're fake, if you're faking that, you're you're an idiot. <laughs> My brother was just like, he was just like, at first, I was like, what a fucking like, why would you say that? And then he was like, give like addresses and like what he was gonna do, like some weird shit, brother. Ooh. My brother was just like. I Jesus can call Christ. the FBI, right? Because <laughs> this is fucked Dude, up. Dude, giving addresses is fucked. It's something like that. I don't know, but... Ew. It is fucked. When I've mom, heard some shit like that on Xbox. My mom too. called me. She was like, yeah, your brother's stalking the FBI. And I was like, what the fuck? Dude, like, what, what do you do? do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Magic. What was your brother streaming? No, he was like watching a stream. Oh, he was watching. Like on Twitch or something. Oh, he snitched. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> that makes it probably easier for the other the FBI to find them, though. I think the yeah. Twitch streams because they're just public streams. Yeah, I think you had to like send the URL or right, something to yeah. them and stuff. They're just like, "Yep, we got him." <laughs> That's fucked, dude. right? I wonder if he. Uh, I wonder if the kid was successful. Uh, the next day. Dun, 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 next day, he news. Got the My hardest. Like, Fuck! I could have stopped. <laughs> dude, no, the next day the kid got the fattest. Yeah, on his door. Just... I don't even know if he got a knock. Uh, maybe he just got watched for like a week. Well, I, I planned out bombing on a church. That sounds like a terrorism act from someone who Will might kick be... your shit down, bro. Like, I'm sure if they're the FBI of America, they assumed the streamer was brown. So is that like, uh, no? 
I am a terrorist. Yeah, <laughs> and they definitely just bashed that door right in. <laughs> they just kicked it down, and then no, it, he was saying it wasn't the streamer. It was the the, the yeah, it was commenting, commenting on, on the stream. Like, the so stream. like that could have been like a nine year old or like that is true. It could have been some or like some like smart mouth twelve year old that like right. just got his first phone. He's like, let me go on Twitch and troll. That is true. That is true. <laughs> That's so fucked. Fucking yeah. nine-year-old. Dude, dude we, give, we give eight-year-old cell phones, like, we give them the power of free speech. Like, yeah. there's nothing stopping them. We from give them porn, bro. Twitter. Dude, my first way of communicating with people through, like, any type of wireless connection was Xbox. I had, because I had Xbox Live before yeah. I had a cell phone, and... Yeah, uh, pretty dude. much the same. I mean, like, people I wanted to talk to were on Xbox before they had cell phones. Yeah, right, that yeah. That was fucking AIM, bro. And a- AIM, yeah. yeah. But I think, like, the voice chat, because yeah. that was when, oh, dude, playing Halo 2 in 2010, I think, or 2000, no, 2005 or 2006, something around there. And some kid just talked shit to me, and I never experienced, like, a wireless voice talking shit to me that was an actual person. Oh, damn. I, like, freaked out. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, just was like, I like didn't know what to do and yeah i, I kind of screamed i remember one time bro i was fucking some kid was like shitting on me so i was like trying to roast him back but dad's like who are you talking to like why are you saying this like wild shit i'm like oh he's just talking shit and he like put the mic on he's like oh me me motherfucker really <laughs> listen to you, you little shit i'm like yeah bro this is a part of it dude <laughs> yeah a lot of people don't get that 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 is kind of a part of Playing video games, it's talking dope. hell of shit part. to people. I don't know. I never had the banter like in like the online lobby. Yeah, but just with the oh, Modern Warfare playing two. Halo yeah, and I, Call I, of Duty was enough for me. Oh, Modern sure. Warfare Two was the most toxic place, dude. Those are the it's best like, like meme accounts on Instagram. It's like it's... gamers like raging. Yeah, on like the headset. Yeah, just. But it is fucked up that kids now at. Eight years old. Not I've seen like five year olds with fucking cell with like iPhones bigger than their hands. It's like, are you fucking kidding? Well, there's like, like fucking a five year old that like that streams video games. Bro. <laughs> Dude, there's a the, I saw, was that Jesus fucking, Christ. Uh, like Target the other day, bro. And I was like walking, and I'm like that kid looks pretty young. And I'm like, it was on a like a package, and it said like whatever the name, and, and I saw a picture of a kid. Looked up, he was like twelve, bro. Not even. I think he was younger than that. Had his own like toy brand. Yeah, it's YouTube, probably the bro. guy. It's probably the guy that op- the kid that opens up toys. The guy. Yeah, he's, he's like seven or whatever. And dude, he, like, oh, the millionaire. He, yeah, he rakes like twelve mil a year or something like that, opening and reviewing toys. Shit. His parents are just exploiting their child. I mean, good for them. Good for them, I guess. But like, but damn. that kid's gonna have so much trauma. That kid's not gonna have a normal life ever. No. I wonder That's if he has any bro. friends. Prob- Have you watched any of those like family vlogs? Or, I like, watched stuff a like that? single They're one. They're weird. They're yeah. so weird. I'm They're like, really weird. And then there's like niche ones. Like there's I some girl was showing me one where we watched uh, a blind family. Like this these two people who could see adopted six blind kids. That's dumb. That's well, weird. Nah, ready? This is what I'm saying. So when we got the stimulus check in March, everyone on disability also got twelve hundred. Every single blind kid is a disability person, like under their right. They qualify guardianship. Yeah. So like in March, like they raked in a 10k stimulus (laughs) (laughs) because like they're rich. They don't have jobs, so they just have their investments. Whoever run the YouTube channel for the kids, like it's just basically them. Like why would you adopt six blind kids, bro? Probably. I don't know. They have a they have a born (laughs) they have a born son who can see. But he's like 35. He doesn't live with their family. So they're just like late 50s, early 60s, what? living with like six blind kids, like, ra- I collecting don't, like, disability blind, from the government. I don't understand. Collecting disability from the government. Like one blind it, person is enough, bro? I would think two is the max. <laughs> you might as well just milk the I'm a savior. Yeah. yeah. Savior Ooh, complex. Damn. My, I can't say this. Anal. Yeah? Okay. Unanal. So yeah, I know someone who has a. Uh, a f- a old friend of mine, his father, has three mentally retarded kids. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said retarded and men- I meant to say mentally. They're retarded, and uh, he gets $3,000 a month. I'm about to cash out myself, bro. Yeah. 
That's so much, though. But think about it, dude. Ready? That's like a child just with you at all times. Cause like, oh, this is more than a child. That's so you eventually think... you have to put them in a home. And, like, I don't... I think they were kind of on the older side. Too. So you think... And they're just milking it, bro. So you gotta like, care for them yeah. for a while. You get the semi... Like one. There you go. And you just leave them home. Yeah. And you work, bro. Get the. You just tie them up. On a chain. <laughs> you bro. probably don't even need to tie them up. You could probably just let them stream, play video games. That right now. I can keep that in. I'm gonna cut the middle chunks of that out because that was that got dark. Fuck them, dude. That's yeah. Would you actually do that, like realistically? No, I wouldn't either. Good no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not a good enough human being to do that. I'll just say that. Yeah. I... That's a lot. It's so much. Yeah. It's really tough to say. I, I wanted to compare it to if, things, but it if sounds If fate mean. put me on that path, I'll... Yeah, like, and if gave I have me the sign. Has, like, challenge, like, obviously... Oh, no, yeah, obviously, it's like, if, if it's my like, own, but, like... Someone's like, oh, hey, no, can dude, you, like, it's my own? I, I mean, <laughs> I'm not keeping It's really that tough. I really wish it could, but... <laughs> so we need to get off of this. No, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so I, I saw this... Uh, well, I didn't even just see this. I thought of this because you know how everyone was going at the like fucking Trader Joe's had to tra- change their name because it's like a Mexican guy on the fucking logo, so they wanted it to change. Their salsa it. is Trader Jose's. Yeah, they wanted to change it to like, <laughs> no, say, like a Trader Jose or something. Like culturally appropriating. And they're saying like companies with like Aunt Jemima went through the same similar shit. The companies that have like hatred oh, in the staff. And they're like racist or something in the staff or in the logo are like getting Karen'd the fuck out. Everyone fucking supports Disney. Walt Disney was the Antichrist. Like, he wasn't, he, wasn't he anti Semitic as fucking. Bro, yeah. Like, he was. Disney is right? such a bad company, bro. Dude, they're straight I, swastikas I feel like in I Disney. I heard cartoons. about this not that long ago. Dude. Yeah. And I did research on it. He was a fucked up he guy. He was a piece dude. of shit. He really was. Yeah. I, no I, one says a word about it. Though. Yeah. If you watch some of those old cartoons, dude, some of them are fucked up. Bro. I'm sure. They're fucked up. People were dumb back then. Yeah. You know the fucking KKK was on Jerry Springer once? <laughs> oh, no. And they were dropping the N-word, bro. Like, Jesus Christ. Non-stop, Ooh. dude. On like, TV? Dude, yes. I was nobody would ran after up this, to the bro. stage. I can pull it up now. We can... Dude, yeah. No. We should watch should it. We? <laughs> should we pull it up now? You know... <laughs> Unanal. Unless you guys want to take a break and we can come back and just recap that, but we'll we'll do this and then take a and then we'll pause it because we we should come back on the uh, on the New Hampshire political conspiracy, <laughs> yes, even though it's a fact and it's going to be. Did we kind of start to break something like yeah. that on this? Okay, we'll have the full thing. All right. Um, that was wicked fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Jerry Springer's done, right? No, it shit's still on, bro. This shit's still. Going? We're going to one. I'm telling you, we're gonna go, bro, and be in the crowd. And be like, why did yeah. I think Jerry Springer? And... They have a couple now, don't they? Have like Maori. Oh, yeah, and Murray too. He, like, he, I thought that one was R1. actually. I think some girl, some girl we went to high school with, was on that ship, bro. Yeah, no, she is. I don't know if I don't want to really put her on. Well, she's on TV. Is but I remember we okay. Well, yeah, that's yes. I, have you? Did you see it? I almost want to pull that up now, but I can't find it, bro. What? I definitely saw it. Well, maybe someone posted it. When we're it looking was... it up on break then. Okay, we'll, we'll but, look it up on break. Dude, I remember that shit was Aaron during my lunch, bro. And everyone in the cafeteria, bro, was watching it. Bro. <laughs> Every single person was huddled around the two TVs we had in the cafe, bro, watching that shit, dude. They're like, oh yeah. shit. The high school, she was on. Yeah, they put it on the TV in the cafeteria, bro. Yeah. So fucking funny, dude. That's crazy. So funny. Yeah, that was fucked. But no, that. I'm surprised they let them do that on that show, on that episode of Jerry Springer. Yeah, so that uh, was from '97, though. <sighs> Still, Jerry Springer battle with the KKK part one. But I think the whole Look thing that up was on like YouTube and uh, confronts them about it and says like, "What you're doing is bad." Pretty fucked up. Yeah, Sending a message to people. Like, I'm, no, yeah, he, I'm pretty sure he, he roasts them like. Or, yeah, right, yeah. he allows them to talk and sound like retards the whole time. Yeah, they dig themselves a whole type of thing, but. I, I'm still fucked up on the fact that they allowed this on TV or that they, they allowed the guests they to come fuck. on the TV. Like, they approved this yeah. before they came onto the show. They got this in writing and said, okay, let's do it. Like, what year did you say this was? 97. 97 is. 97, and they didn't bleep the N word, but 
Dave Chappelle couldn't say on, or no, Dave Chappelle did say on his show, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Why do they what, not? What was the word he couldn't well, say no. on his show? He said Dave he Chappelle's special. older. I thought he was that like was 95. in the 90s, right? Yeah, I thought it was 94. Yeah, it could be 95, yeah. Wait, was it that old? It was like, yeah. It was like the early 2000s. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. Should I look it up? <laughs> sure. I feel like in this, the, that is one of the big takeaways. They're censoring every other word, but not the hard R. I got you. I'll look it up. It's pretty wild, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> Be the police. Don't play this. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, we'll end with a joke before we take a break. All right. Well, so my name is John Jacob Jacob Heimer Smith in this joke. So the other day I met someone and I'm like, hey, what's your name? And he's like, John Jacob Jacob Heimer Smith. And I said, you're not going to believe this, but get it? His name is my name, too. <laughs> wow. That's a very old joke. <laughs> I've never heard of it. The <laughs> really? Before, bro. Yeah. Dude, I heard that when I was a kid. Never heard of that until the other day, bro. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> damn. Yeah, no, I heard that when I was, yeah. Oh, All damn. right, well, I've uh, never heard that, but that was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> That was brutal. <laughs> um, brutal. Yeah, I do have like 12 other things, but I feel like we could take a break and then come back on that shit because this could be a two-hour pod. We'll be right back. I've been watching this war that's going on between... It's over. That did, it did uh, end. But yeah. Azerbaijan. It's been going on. It's been going on for like... <laughs> Dude, you know all the minutes. clips of people dying that Jake sends me on twitter that i that i've told you about how he sends me like mad fucked up shit of like soldiers getting like slaughtered and oh shot yeah and all those shit. videos are from yeah oh yeah all of that shit's been from this thing and sununu's involved in it somehow but like yeah okay i guess let's break it down so uh so we're back <laughs> sununu's dad owns is an owner in this company that mines in that territory of the world, the region of the world, I should say. And this is Governor Sununu of New Hampshire? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Jesus. Yeah, but you know, they, I, I don't know their whole backstory, but I know they've been involved in like a bunch of different businesses, but this is their one that they're in now, and what happened over there, basically, the Azerbaijan, I don't know how to say that country. I name, say the same thing. Care. I don't know that was a country. Um, <laughs> They won. Like, Armenia seceded and is no longer a country, which is... Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, Armenia is not a country now. Yeah. Got divided, like, pizza pie, three ways each. Why are we not talking about That's, this? That's, yeah, it's like, well... Yeah, it's like, it was, like, n- breaking news for, like, a day, and then, like, people were like, oh, I guess we just have to continue talking about coronavirus and Trump. Yeah, right. I didn't even know that. That's fucked up. Election. Yeah, so yeah. it just never really got talked about, which is... Wicked fucked up, because, like, our whole world map just changed. And, like, number one, it shouldn't have, because, like, they just got bullied into it, basically. It wasn't like they were like, oh, we peacefully let yeah. you take our country. It's like, no, it was no it's like you've been warring with us for, like, yeah. 40 years. And More than that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the videos that I've seen, um, I recommend people follow, if you have a strong stomach, at Infowarrior News on Twitter. Or just follow hashtags of Armenia, um, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijani. I don't know how to pronounce that. If I'm saying it wrong, go fuck yourself. Um, they're fucked up. Like, they're getting slaughtered. Like, there's videos of people blowing the fuck up. People yeah, getting dude, shot. Friggin- and, like- Chris News' dad's company puts out this freaking statement that's like, the the mines that they were that they finally get contracts on are now liberated from the Armenian people. It's like, how can you freaking phrase it like that? It's like, what? Jesus Christ. Wait, what's that at? What? The Twitter account? At InfoWarrior News. Warrior. I want to see this shit. There's a few other ones that are posting shit too, but that he posts a lot of the crazy shit. Um, a lot of it is from September all the way up, so you might have to go back to get a lot of them. But This is fucking weird. So <clears throat> the governor of New Hampshire's father is in some pretty messy shit to say the least, but this is sounding like a movie where the fucking rich American guy works with the military, overthrows like a country for oil or something along the lines of that, and we win. And it's wicked fucked up and it's a horrifying story. And that's basically what's happening, right? No, oh, yeah, it's super fucked up. Because like, if you look at those, probably in some of those videos on that page, they have 
what's called a cluster rocket. And it's basically just like an RPG that like takes out a whole building real quick. That video alone, I'm pretty sure it's not like a howitzer, but it's something big like that. I don't know. You'll see it like in the middle amongst the other gunshots. This is wild. Um, yeah, so basically he, his company now has access to all these mines for precious metal. I don't know what to call them. Precious metal is probably what they're right. called. It's like copper. Yeah, copper. Um, um, they have like a coal, silver. just coal, silver. Yeah. Um, like you're, you're only talking about like one part of the Middle East. Like there's no, a whole thing going on in Yemen right now. Right. Like you look like at everything whole... that goes on. Like bro, like they Epidemic, drive tanks yeah. down the road, bro, and like point guns at you. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> like you're not... And bitches have the nerve to fucking complain about all the small, stupid ass first world problems that we have. I know. I'm bitches. I'm one of those bitches. I date rape like three people and it's oh, what are you, Bill Cosby? Oh. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> <laughs> um No bro, like I I was trying to yeah. pet a cat outside, bro, when I was dating. <laughs> Like, there was no tanks or no one tried to kill me, bro. Like, right, yeah. If I dude, was in the Middle East, I was fucking, I was fucking uh, trying to start my truck starter from in here the other morning because it was fucking cold out and it didn't work. And I got frustrated. I was like, why am I getting mad at something like this? Like, we have it so good, dude. I'm getting mad at a car starter. Like, this is fucked. It's just what it is, though. I mean, yeah. Our Fuck them. I'm living my life fine. Our worlds have never been like there, so it's like. Yeah, that's why we get mad about that shit. But they would be bringing living the great life if they're like, over here. Fuck, dude, I got shot at fucking four times today, bro. It's usually two. Fuck. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. But. Yeah. Okay. That's still. I don't know. That is twisted. Um, we could probably veer off of the serious heavy stuff for a little <laughs> bit. You know. Yeah. Uh, just cause. Oh my god, I have so many things to get, dude. Still, we're like oh, about 50 minutes in, maybe almost an hour, and I still got a lot. Okay, we'll go through a lot of this. New lockdown. How do you guys feel about it? I feel like people forget that, like, if we did a, like, 100% lockdown for, like, three weeks and just tested everyone, like, four, like, four times during those three weeks, kept people that had it quarantined, let everyone else bull but didn't have it. After the three weeks, and then, like, we'd probably get rid of, like, enough of it. Bro, I don't give a fuck. If I'm getting paid, bro, if the government's like, here's some money just to stay home. Yeah, for three weeks, I'd do it. Fuck them. Right? But if, like, I doubt that's what the lockdown's gonna but be. But think about what would happen, bro. Oh, no, people would. I feel like We it's... already know what's gonna happen. We just went through it. Right. Like, yeah. No, but imagine, like, they were like, yo, just stay home. And that was a half ass version of it. That wasn't even the full thing. People would fucking go banana the land. The liquor store was freaking open, bro. Sakes. Like, know. it's not a lockdown when, like, right. you have half of your retail stores still open yeah. serving people, and then, like, some people refusing to wear a mask when it's like. I was just gonna say, I think all 50 states having all the governors and state, like, everyone have to agree to do that. Yeah, well, Biden says once he's going in, it's a hundred day mask mandate. But still a mandate. Like, I think bro, that's the issue with America is that we all have our own like. Oh, we've been like wearing a mask though, bro. Like since the beginning. I get so mad, bro, when I go into a store and like I wear a mask, and then you see someone else that doesn't, and it's always <laughs> a crackhead. <laughs> yes, dude. Or like some that like. <laughs> yes, dude. I've been there seen... like two mornings ago. Another dude. It, he's probably like late. I, I he said his name, but he had one of those like raspy like I smoke a pack a day. Yeah, horses. dude. Yeah. Wicked long, like dairy, t- grimy, grimy guy. gray hair. He comes in, no <laughs> mask, starts shooting the shit, buying lottery tickets at friggin' six forty-five in the morning. I'm like, this guy, of course, he's not wearing a mask. I'm making my coffee. Yeah, and he's like, definitely hasn't no one gone can to tell bed me yet. To wear a fucking mask, I'm, except my mother and my father tells me what to do, and I'm like, all yeah. right, dude, like, why do you have hey, to get all piped you're up? Just a twelve-year-old then. Yeah, dude. When I was at fucking Market Basket, there was someone not wearing a mask. And he was, he pretty much was just like a young punk, I feel like. Like he was just, he looked younger than me, yeah. I feel, I don't know. And he was just walking around with like his hood on, not wearing a mask. Um, I don't know. It didn't seem, I don't know. The fucking cashier and the bagger at that market basket, the one in Londonderry, um, were trying to talk to me like about masks. 
The guy's like, oh, I can't breathe in this thing. Fucking sucks. Just want to take it off. I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. Like, <laughs> like why do you, like, don't get political well, dude, with me fucking... right now. Like, but it's like, at the same time, like, sometimes I can't. Like, the other day, I had a health problem. I couldn't wear a mask. And it's like, you need to wear a mask. I was like, I can't. I have a health problem. She's like, what's your health problem? I'm like, oh, I just have COVID-19. It's no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> 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 She's like, oh, okay. Wait, what? It's the fastest way to get the cops called. Them. <laughs> like, oh, I have COVID nineteen. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be. I don't know. Pay me, bro. If you pay me and let me like just stock up on food, bro. I feel I'm like good, if bro. does the president have <laughs> yeah, the ability the to? Freaking... Sorry, Sorry you... <laughs> no. I was just thinking, does he have the ability to shut the country down, like without all fifty states saying, okay, fine? Like, can he do it? By himself, say no. Everything shut down except. I think for he can. Stations. Like, I think there could be like an executive order. I, I feel know. like one hundred percent. No like way. Like a state of the like, emergency, state of the country. Okay, that makes sense. We if it was to, a state of emergency thing, I feel like they could just declare the essentials it. because the essential businesses yeah. list was like. But what they need to it. do, they need to do something like. I don't know, like, this group. Can only like can go to the store this day. This group can go to the food store this day. Yeah, like, but there's not nothing gonna... they can do. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's what they did in China. I'm pretty sure in some parts. Like, there's no way they could be like work here. <laughs> no way. They're not gonna be like, oh, you have two weeks to get ready. Like, stock up. It'd be a freaking <laughs> frenzy at the grocery stores again. Right, that's, and that's, that's gonna be I'm saying. Like, I don't know. We'd have to do like a gradual thing, but like, I don't think they should do a shutdown at this point. But I'm only saying that because of how hopeful all the vaccine talk is. Um, they are expecting, a, I, I low-key have insider info because I work in the medical field and the CEOs, they, they know the CEOs of the pharmaceutical companies and shit and they're expecting a vaccine in January. Yeah, they're saying, they're saying this month some of the healthcare workers in New Hampshire are going to get it. Right, yeah, they're distributing it. To dude, the government's America. offering you like $1,500, bro, if you want to try a vaccine right now, dude. What? Or some shit. Fuck it, dude. That's fine. I'd do it. Oof. No, I wouldn't. A first month vaccine. I don't $1, know. $1,500 to try it? Don't tell me to try it. Well, like, just to have it. Just to take it. But yeah. still. But I don't have COVID, so, like, why would I? I wouldn't. You know? I feel like if they didn't frame it, if they're like, oh, yeah, we'll pay you, uh, that's a flag to me. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. 1500 bucks. Just they, to have to pay, they have to compensate you for participating in their trial. True. Or, if or it's else. like a trial and error type like of run. Actual yeah. actual scientific trial. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Politics real quick. You know Donald Trump still might be the president? Yeah, I guess there was something going on. They're suing. Uh, so Nevada, bro. The states today. They're suing they them. found fucking like it was some crazy number that double voted. Like thousands of people dead voted. And people were, were like saying they lived on RV parks, bro, to vote. It was like some like wild shit. So like that was a big thing like yesterday or the day before. And then in Pennsylvania, bro, they said like it's all fucked up and it could go to the Supreme Court now, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't, I thought that was over with, bro, until like I was like reading up on it. I'm like, oh, fuck, like. They're <laughs> like kind of finding stuff. Like they probably stopped talking about it so that it's a bigger story in a week when it goes and I was to the like, Supreme Hol- Court. Yeah, because then it, it would be annoying if they talked about it for like four weeks in a row. But now that they've stopped talking about it for like two weeks now. Yeah, and you know, I was like, what the fuck, dude? Like, how it's, do you everyone's fuck gonna be glued to it again? Dude. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, shit. It's so stupid. I really. I hate that we have to do this. I think we should just give it to Kanye, bro. I I think we should just (laughs) re-vote. Everyone votes in person. Or, like, you have to do it, like, the actual, like, mail-in vote way where, like, you have a non-family member be there and watch you sign your vote. I think, dude. I think they need to find a new way to vote. I don't think any of this shit's working. They got to do just all in person, bro. Unless you're, like, military or something else, dude. This is going to sound nuts. You can't think of the thumbprint. Fuck it, dude. Well, you should be up. Like, That's what dude, I'm thinking. Bro, you don't even show skin. your ID, bro. Yeah. In some states, you do. In some oh, is it? Well, you the fact New Hampshire mail-in voting hasn't uh, worked. Really? The paper <laughs> voting clearly isn't working. Because I could do that. I could. I could. I went to North Salem and I fucking. Oh no! But you have to register to vote. How do you register to vote with an RV address? So you register well, to vote in New at New multiple Hampshire, locations. You can register same day. You just get into a separate line. 
So say I go to one school and then I'm, I'm registered, but then I go to another one, say I'm not registered, register that day. No, because it would be linked to your address. Well, no, actually. I said I had an RV address. I said you had an RV. Say I had like a lot. Oh. I don't know. It depends if you had an inn, probably at that point. Yeah. Well, when I was growing up, one of the elections, I went with my mom to vote. And my grandparents' name was still under a house. So like, no, like they don't live there. They're like, oh, okay. And they're like, who are you? And she's like, you said her name. And then they're like, oh, okay. And then they're like, like so you're not them or them. Like, right. no, like, they don't live there. And then we were talking to my grandpa. like, yeah, we just voted. <laughs> and then we went to go vote. I was like, so they could have, like, I could have said, obviously not, I was a kid, but, like, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm them. Waited a couple hours. Oh, that's me. Like, it was, like, like it was, like, still okay. in the system. I kind of see. Of, like, where they could have, like, double voted. So it's Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I how don't give a fuck. Really. I don't know how they'll get a better system, but they need a better system, to be honest. Because this shit shouldn't be this possible. We shouldn't bro, have you can, to be like, dealing with go this. Go to the store, bro, to like go food shopping. Why can't you vote? Yeah. When I went to go vote, bro, it was like it was pretty fucking nice. Like they knew what they were doing. Oh yeah, it was hella. Did you go to oh, yeah. North Salem? No, I went to uh, one of the Manchester schools. Oh, you went to a Manchester one? Oh. Dude, and I like, dude, I was in and out in fucking five minutes with a lot of people there. Yeah, you were lucky. I went to bring in Sally Sweets Lane in Salem by the police. Oh, department. right, 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 right. How... I tried to go before work, so I was like, oh. I'll bring rush in for work, did, bro. but everyone did that. And I, got <laughs> oh, there, no. I got there like six thirty, and they don't open till seven, and it was probably a hundred something in line. Fuck. Yeah, and there was a fat line because it was six feet apart. And yeah, right. But Maybe we'll see what I... happens. I really don't want to be. Talking about this in two months. Though. You're right. I was just gonna say maybe we can uh, actually not deal with this by the time 2021 comes. Let's see. Uh, Netflix's money increased to fourteen dollars a month for the regular plan, eighteen dollars for the premium plan. They say they're adding new content. What can you add, bro? You're a movie service. So I'm thinking that they're going to have a bunch of new shows dropping. That is my Ooh, guess. What is the baseline right now? Is it isn't it like ten? Twelve ninety nine is what I'm paying. I used to pay seven ninety nine. Do you bro? have like four screens? Because there's a bunch. I only of... have two screens. I two, think that's. So you have base base with twelve ninety nine. Guessing, yeah, it might be eleven ninety nine, but I just know yeah. it's going up to going fourteen, up. I mean, thirteen ninety nine. So fifteen bucks a month. So you're looking at like three hundred something a year. But... <sighs> Man, I don't know. Uh, Netflix hasn't been impressing me enough to <laughs> to raise their prices, and I know they're not hurting on money. Damn, dude, that's kind of fucked up. If I didn't realize how much that is a year. Basically, buying a movie ticket once a month to watch Netflix. True. And like, honestly, I haven't had a Netflix account in a while because I have Hulu and Disney Plus. But yeah, that's the same price. Yeah, both of those service like Disney Plus is like seven bucks. My Hulu with no ads is like I think Disney Plus is like eight bucks, and Hulu with no ads is like seven. Dude, Disney Plus Fox, though. I love that. Just for the Mandalorian. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. That makes it... And then there's just the prequels and the regular Star Wars movies all dude, in one Dude, you gotta place. start watching that fucking show, dude. The Mandalorian? Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah. let me the know when... The season's um, almost over. Okay, let me know when it is. I think there's like is. two episodes left. Actually, there is... There's an episode today, which is six. And so there's two they, more after that. Two more episodes after that. So you can start your free trial now, bro. And I watch can? the whole fucking thing. Yeah, you get a month How, free trial. Oh, it's a month? Okay. Word. I think. Might be a week, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I'll do it. If, if uh, I'll see if it's a month, then I'll definitely fucking sign up for yeah, it. I just, they just gave Baby Yoda a name last week. Yeah, so, finally. Um, you probably shouldn't have told him that, bro. That's a big spoiler. It's not. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't give a fuck about names. <laughs> I'm not telling him the name. The name. Baby Yoda. <laughs> um, so, I guess on that same tangent, dude, that fucking trailer I sent you... For all the movies that are dropping. So how much is that going to be a month? I'm buying it. I don't care how much it is. What service? HBO Max. Oh, God. Dude. Well, th- dude, get Disney Plus because like, they're making so many shows for that, too. Like, I mean, you got to see all the movies Star Wars? that are coming They're making out. a Kenobi no, so. show. Yeah, true. And that's going to be dope. But HBO Max, so the day it comes out in the theaters, you can watch it out of your house. Oh, no. I'm, I'm sure it's the dope because it's on the AT&T commercial. Like, it's... They're pumping the <laughs> HBO Max as like a real streaming service. They're behind the eight ball. They joined yeah. a little late. So late I'm not game. really considering the movie that's dropping. I'm considering that there's ten 
15 fucking movies dropping the same day and look at the titles of those movies because it goes fast. No, that's over time. No, it's not. They're all dropping on the exact same day. Really? Is that Wonder Woman? I was just watching it because fucking I was Wonder say. Woman, Matrix 4, Suicide Mortal Squad, Kombat, that movie was not Space good, no. Jam 2, oh, all I on the that same was... fucking oh. day. That ain't bad then. Space Jam 2, Matrix 4. Space Jam 2, Matrix Godzilla 4, versus King Godzilla vs. <laughs> <versus> King Kong. <laughs> I haven't seen the new Godzilla yet. Dude. I unfortunately have not seen that many Godzillas. Only seen like I saw like, uh, the, new the ones, 1999 one. Yeah, that one I actually thought was pretty good, uh-huh. but the new one was surprisingly fucking good. Only seen good. the Jack Black King Kongs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, all I've That's seen. also very good. I like that one, too. That was a good one. That was a fucking long movie, dude. I was going to say, you can't watch it more have, a few uh, more... Fun fact, I have started the first, like, 45 minutes of that movie, like, six times from getting so many MRIs at uh, Boston Children's Hospital. Oh, uh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Jesus. Like, what movie do you want to watch? And it's three terrible movies and King Kong. You're like, I don't watch King Kong. Yeah. You're like, hold on. Maybe sometime. I'll get through more of it. It's, yeah. No, it's the same ending. <laughs> you're just, like, quoting the whole movie. You're like, fuck. Yeah. Hi-ya! <laughs> I, I always think of that every time. Have you seen? Do you? I've watched the beginning of that movie where the Asian people are in it. It's really like offensive that they made him audition for that role. Oh, really? like, that's so racist that they made him audition for that role. Oh uh, fuck! But he probably wouldn't have done it that well because he was definitely fat. We're like what thirty years from Hollywood doing blackface. No, what was Pineapple Express when Robert Downey Jr. did blackface? Tropic Thunder, Tropic Thunder, 2009. Was he playing someone doing blackface? I don't know how that he was character went. Playing he was an crazy. Australian who yeah. was making fun of the blackface role, so he kind of got away with. He, he found a loophole there. Yeah, he did. He, um, I don't know if you saw him on Rogan's podcast when he was on it, but he's like, yeah, nine out of my ten black friends liked it, but there's still always that one. <laughs> and I was like, oh man, <laughs> that must be horrible. I was like, shit. I can't imagine doing fucking blackface now. But Hollywood's so slow behind the racist curve until they make a movie about racism to make money off of it. Let's, yeah, let's, let's facts. Talk. Right? You get offered a movie, brother. Like, we're going to give you fucking $5 million for whatever amount of screen time. Like, sometimes you're playing a blackface. It's not like I'm deciding to do it. Like, I am, but it's like, bro, you're paying me millions of dollars. Fuck it, dude. I wouldn't do that for no. any number. Really? I wouldn't even do it for... Because it's, like, it's not like I'm doing it's it such like, a, oh, It's such a bad. smear on, like, your whole character. Yeah. Because <laughs> then you, it's like... And that's then they like, could yeah. spin it like, you did it for money. Like, you're like it, That's bro. exactly... <laughs> and that's exactly why you do it, I basically. I'm, that's at it I'm thinking, you do that once, you're going to end up, what, the... You could even be the richest person in the world and no one will ever talk to you again. But except ho- the KKK. But it's Hollywood, though. It's not like... You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I'm not worth it. <laughs> not for me, at least. I don't know. There's a possibility. But it's... I'll put it this way. If it was what Robert Downey Jr. did in Black Thunder... Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> I said Black Thunder. <laughs> um, I would have done it if he didn't do it already. But I'm since he did do it already, like, <laughs> I'd play a black guy. But if it was like a part where they're like, "Oh, we're gonna make a funny thing. We have to do something like that." I'm not saying I'd play a whole. Like it black works guy. into the movie's plot. That yeah, like no, yeah, yeah. Because like, what's her face? Sarah Silverman did something like that. Yeah, that's like the loophole of it. Yes. Yeah. Because like yeah. the main character is not a black face. Yeah. No, that's right. not what I mean. Like, I'm not gonna be like a black guy. See, but that loophole is a touchy. That's a Fuck tricky. It, dude. I don't know. That's the nice slippery slope. It's a slippery. slippery I don't mean slope. it to offend anyone, bro. But if they're like, here's a bunch what's, of money, bro. What's the minimum amount of millions you would take? See, I feel like I'm a bad person, bro. Like for even like considering this, but. I don't... It's terrible that you're considering this. <laughs> Could you tell me if someone was like, here's a million dollars, bro, right? You're going to be in this fucking... This part of the movie, bro. And it's a fucking a whole gag on, like, blackface. And, like, how you're, like, the odd man out or something. You're, some bullshit like that, bro. Like, here's three million. You wouldn't do it for, like, ten minutes of screen time. Like, it's a part so of, like... So, I'm white in the movie, but I... But yeah. I'm blackface for... So I'm let's making say, fun of blackface in the movie where I'm already white. Yeah. So, I use blackface to make fun of it. Yeah. No. No. Really, never do it. dude. 
You could I give mean, me a billion. Robert Downey Jr. Never mind three million. You could set me up with money for life. I would never do it. What? Yeah. I don't look at if it. If I have to use like blackface that, to make fun of blackface, I don't think it's funny. I only think it's funny when... I don't really think it's funny, to be honest. You're telling me you'll never watch Tropic Thunder. Again. No, I think he's the one who did it. That, that's the loophole that I'm like, okay, he did it, but I can't ever see that happening again. No, it will never happen again. Well, I mean, I can't see myself laughing at that. If someone else ever tried that again, I, could, I don't think I'll laugh at it. Fuck. Yeah. Nah, I won't go over the same. Because it's been done now. Right. That's why I was saying, like, if and Robert like Downey Jr. didn't do it, I, I might have. I feel like there's a way you can make it funny. Would you do it? Like, probably not. Three million? Any money? No. If, <laughs> if, like, people know about it, there's no amount of money. <laughs> people know about it, yeah. That's kind of a good point. But it, it's, if it's a movie, people are definitely going to know. So. Obviously. So. Yeah, so, right. I think so I'm, you would do it. I think then. I'm looking at it a lot different than if you. you want me to do like I don't think small... you are. I think you're just you're looking at it, but the thing I look at it is I really don't think it's that big of a deal. Exactly. I don't know how to, to word do it. Do it in a movie. If I'm like walking down the street and I'm like, "What's up, crackers?" Black. It's but different. the black version, yeah. But okay. This, that's I was bad. like, why would you say crackers like, movie wise? A second. Yeah. Fuck it. Next but see, that's, <laughs> that's, that's going to be rough. Now we're going to get, this is going to be a touchy subject now because what about saying the N-word in a movie? What if you were to play a racist person, just a white guy? You're not doing blackface. If you were Leonardo DiCaprio. And but you're playing Django Leo DiCaprio. I could do it. <laughs> that's bold of you, dude. You know what he did like on set? He had to like, <laughs> stop. Said that. Was, like, dude, I can do it. Like, I don't... So confident. Oh just like, God. I... Could belt out the N word a thousand two hundred times. Yeah, but, but you have like, to know he got paid probably like twenty million. If someone was like, go to the ghetto, like he go had to, to, he'd probably go to get the ghetto. therapy. He had to like stop on set like a bunch of times because he was. Like, I don't think I could do it, man. So like, not okay with saying it, dude. To make a good dude, if I could make, if I could be a part of a movie like Django and Shane, bro, that good of a movie, dude. Yeah, I'm taking one for the team. Bro. And see, I know there's actors that they're like, no, I'm like, you're gonna fully dissolve into a racist. Yeah, <laughs> just terrible. Yeah. Probably it fucks you up. Right, it definitely. Do. You have to like get into character. So you think about it, Leonardo DiCaprio is probably just, I don't know, watch. Probably has an, a switch like buried wicked deep down. Yeah, in therapy like, where he I can just do turn it on. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think I don't know. I I wouldn't be motivated by money if it's something racist for a movie. I couldn't do it. Unless I thought it was an Oscar worthy role. See, the way I look at it is I don't mean it. I'm not saying Exactly. If I could if I could get a like, movie that's... like Django and Chain where it's totally unrealistic, like I'm obviously not a like Midwest cowboy from that era in today's age. Like I just played this right. movie to portray how it was in so a fictional already, way. You're already an established actor in that scenario. People already respect you yeah. for acting, but you're just saying it. People know you're not racist, but yeah, for that specific wanted, yeah, role, That's like the same thing with blackface. It's not like I'm doing it to like... But see, if Leonardo DiCaprio just came out and did blackface, if Johnny Depp does well. it... That's too controversial. I'm not going to look at it and be like... I don't know if you should have done this, man. Like this, kind of dark. Did you hear about Johnny Depp? They're doing Zac Efron as the new Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean prequels. What? Yeah. They're Why? Prequels now? They're making prequels. Why and didn't they didn't get cast who Johnny Depp? Act? <laughs> they wanted buff guy for uh, because it's a Disney Plus. Pirates of the Caribbean oh. is Disney oh, Plus, so yeah, they need facts. like yeah. They need like buff influencer guy. That's to so true. Draw Someone the make a bunch of fucking. Exactly. Yeah, that's. You know, Zach Efron needs like that. that. <laughs> you know, Zach Efron needs that delayed High School Musical check from Disney Plus. Right. Yeah. They used his likeness. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Yeah, that's hard to comment on. I feel so bad for fucking Johnny Depp. <laughs> Dude, like... guy, guy's gone down a rough path, but yeah. to be honest, I think making so much freaking money in the Pirates of the Caribbean, he just buried his own, made his own grave. Well, no. I mean, with his, with the lady beating. Oh, shit. with that. I mean, yeah. like he's. 
because he's spiraling with, down with alcohol it, now. Because that's of like it. the <laughs> point that he makes his own girl. He's always been with like shady women. Like, yeah, not, that not is the true. Best, like, he hasn't had a great choice. Well, he's always been in shady movies too, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's been in some Todd, twisted bro. He's a pirate. He's a good Willy actor, Wonka, bro. Like, Dude, he's one of the best actors. But I wonder I what think... he's like normally because like he always plays these extremist characters. Like, exactly. Has he not won an Oscar? We're talking about. Yeah. No. Yes. Really. Johnny Depp has not won an Oscar. That's I think rough. he's probably top three in actors of all time. Mm. Robert Downey. There's a lot of them, though. You really, that's a bold statement, top three. Who's your, well, top, I'm, who's your number one? I'm pretty particular, and I can't get the number one, so I, I have a top. I know, it, I don't know. It's off of, a, I'd say, believability, the authenticity of it. Robert Downey Jr. is up in that top three, too. Um, because I've seen him play... A British dude, an Australian dude, a black man, um, and in America, different types of American, different regions. Yeah, played Sherlock Holmes. Um, played, dude, I think played Iron of, Man. Like he just plays. Uh, he has some older movies too, where he was really good. Hugh Jackman. Um, he's really good at acting generally, but he is always aggressive, and I don't know if I can put him up. He's there. a good Wolverine, though. He is. But like, who's your best typecast character? <laughs> Damn. I think one of the like best, Al Pacino bro. is probably the best gangster actor. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, what's the short guy? Al, uh, Al uh, Joe, Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci yeah. is like the premier Italian short Joe guy. Joe Pesci might be mine. Yeah, he's the, a great actor. For the mobster style. Yeah, the mobster. In, in, you know in Casino, the guy he played was actually like six foot six. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I did remember reading that, but he sold the role. Oh, yeah. No, he, he fit the part. Yeah. Have you seen Goodfellas? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. okay. I was going to say, okay. there's another one. <laughs> yeah. Another one. I got to just make sure. Did um, I think Leonardo DiCaprio is pretty up there. I was going to say, of, one that one might be my top three. Johnny Depp, Leonardo DiCaprio, and um, Robert Downey Jr. I don't know what order I'm putting them in, but that might be my top three. I think number one, Seth Rogen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah Hill's a pretty good actor. It's just that he's not in any like crazy movies where he's the main character besides Superbad. Or like Moneyball. Um, yeah. Moneyball he was good in. Dude, I loved him in fucking Wolf of Wall Street. He was good in Wolf of Wall Street. Leo just stole the show, though. He played like the, the chap t- tooth fucking thing so fucking well. Yeah. That fucking, yeah. I'm not fucking leaving? I love that movie, dude. Yeah. Amazing movie. Shit. Okay, I still have things to. I should go through these. Um, have you seen Theo Vaughn's um, things that he's been posting on YouTube? The Man Up. Oh yeah, dude. I didn't know he. He. So I thought there were new episodes, but that's been Boston, for a long time. Boston. I don't think... Be a Man. Is that what you're talking about? Oh no, Man Up. Yeah, just Man Up. I don't... Why? Do... I know what else you said for some reason that comes to mind. Yeah, it was a. It's a meme. I shouldn't even call it a meme page. It's just like a. Instagram yeah. video page. Oh, maybe this guy just saw an accent. Um, just saying, be a man. <coughs> I've seen that a while ago. A so, couple of them, unless they're all new ones. I was but. gonna say this, th- the one with Jim Jeffries. That's not old, right? I'm pretty sure because so he. Oh, is that the fucking one with Whitney Cummings? Yeah, dude, oh, dude, so fucking funny. Is that old? I don't know. I've so never seen it. He posted. He pinned a comment to the video and said, "Comedy Central didn't want this." So I'm posting it to YouTube. Fuck them. Oh, really? Yeah. Comedy Central's going down the shithole, man. <laughs> yeah. But they're... Dude, I thought it's it was... so funny. <laughs> like, oh, I love it. Dude. Yeah. It's so fucking That funny, one with dude. Jim Jeffries, specifically, Did you was see the so one fucking the... funny. <laughs> the kid that lived at home, bro? Yes. <laughs> He's like, what do you do? He's like, I play video games. He's like, nothing. He's like, what else do you do? <laughs> exactly, nothing. So nothing. You do nothing, bro. I'm dying of that, dude. Yeah. Is that uh, the premise of the show? It's got Man Up. It's yeah. Man Up, and it's just, uh, I guess Theo Vaughn's just talking about dudes not being men. So he, like, brings them to, like, classes or something and, yeah. like, teaches them stuff. And he we'll brought play, Jim yeah. Jeffries to a feminism. I want to watch that after this, yeah. dude. It's so fucking funny. I didn't realize how fucking... F- Jim Jeffries is a savage. Like, yeah, he's so... He's sitting in a feminist group. We'll get into it after. We'll, we'll talk about it after. But they're amazing. And the fact that Comedy Central didn't want them, I just wanted to say Comedy Central can suck a dick. Seems like they're fucking everyone over. Cunts. Uh, do you guys have a really strange thing that you like that you don't like admitting, a.k.a. pimple-popping videos? Dude, nah, dude. I can't do any of those things, dude. Not those videos. 
Uh, something that come to mind that maybe other people don't don't necessarily because I'll I'll go I'm yeah you go first this is dark weird this gets this is dark I like watching people die oh dude violently and I what it has to be real like the real I I saw someone uh, get um, sucked into one of those rolling machines once and it just squished and then popped their body and you saw the blood mist and I laughed for like an hour straight like. I like that shit. I could watch like war things, bro. Like I love that shit. That's not weird though. No, like seeing people like get their shit blown open, bro. Yeah, but if it's a war related like like those videos are like okay, weird, but, like, so that type. So like someone recording it, and someone just getting like shot. Yeah, like ghetto ass, like okay, not like a shit. documentary. Type. Oh no, no, no. Okay. I'm talking about like yeah, that's good then. Yeah. Dark Twitter fucking videos right. where you're like, holy shit, bro, that guy's fucking head is in seven it's, pieces. Bro. It's exactly what I'm talking about. I yeah, love I'm that up. shit. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I don't know if it's like that. Like, <laughs> like, I definitely pick my some, nose sometimes. There's definitely it at some people. like dark humor. I feel like it's like those same type pages though, where it's like not supposed to be funny, but like the way they portray it is funny. Yeah. There's definitely some meme pages that I follow that are like that. Yeah. I do hate pimple popping videos. I don't know why. I don't know what I can't do though. I can watch someone die, bro. But if someone breaks a bone, I lose it. Oh no, dude! I hate those videos. People in the gym. They're on a leg press machine, just I, folded. It's kind of weird, bro, but I can oh. watch someone, like, get shot, bro, and be like, damn, dude, like, like a, ooh. But, like, if I see a bone broken, like, someone's like, feel that. You yeah. feel it I'm in just your like, stomach. I'm just like, oh, that's so gross, get it out of I here. I still feel like I like those, but I do do the, the flinch, but I, like, enjoy it. Like, scarred. I'm I like, oh, scarred, oh. Yeah, dude, like, like, green uh, hair standing up, just talking about it. It's uh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, uh, there was a, on your mom's house, Tom Segura was talking about one of them. Uh, women bend over. Dude, they always talk about those videos. So you can see just the woman's armpits, her ass, and and something else, like the back of her knees, and it's a fetish. There's like a, a whole website on it. It's just pictures of that. A woman... So there, she's like facing the TV and she's bent over, just standing straight up, just bent over, and you can see her armpits and the back of her knees and her ass. They it's a naked? fetish. No. Oh, like they're bending down or something. I don't know. It's just they're just a bunch of pictures on. It's really fucking weird, dude. I think no, I mean, people feet pay are weird. for anything on the internet. If it's like they can sexualize it, they will pay for it. Right? Yeah. Really weird. I think feet are weird, bro. I'm not a big feed person. Oof, no. I, I have some friends that have feed people. I don't know how they do it, but... Oh, uh, no, dude. I, I am a... You guys like like legs? Like girls' legs? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big leg. thigh guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm a thigh guy. Dude, but feet, bro. We need to talk about this, bro. Feet are gross. Because why do so many people like feet? Like sucking on them and shit? Like Ugh. anything, bro. Like even Ugh. looking at feet, like... My girlfriend would joke around, like, oh, like, smell how gross like, my foot smells or something. She comes home, it's like, I want to hit her. Yeah. That's how much I hate. My exes dude. would do that no. same thing, and I did hit them. No, <laughs> <laughs> they they did that same shit, and I did not laugh. It was fucking. Oh, dude, it's no, so... he ain't it. Even like with socks on, right? Like, no, why no. you gotta put that? I hate when people like put feet near you. And you're like, no thanks. Like in your face, it's like, bro, you've been stepping everywhere. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> your feet are gross. Right? I can now. touch it's... my own feet. Yeah, I mean that's like yeah. Like I, I could do. That's you. Though. Someone's like touch my yeah. foot. No, you're getting the foot to the ass and you're getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. You. Okay. <laughs> uh, we could, I was going to do some like Christmas countdown type of shit because we're in December, but since we come out on Tuesdays and I'm always so discombobulated whenever the fuck we drop these, I don't know. Fuck them. Fuck Christmas. Christmas. Fuck Jesus. Yeah. You life. I did want to do like a best of 2020 thing, but we can do that for closer to the New Year's if you want to. Just see the best shit that's come out. I mean, most of the best shit has already come out by now, so. Um, yeah, something well, I mean, else is dropping. Most, like, I know like Apple and Android like already did their like top apps of the year. Like, oh. A bunch of people have already done like. All right, so what's your number one movie? Of 2020? That's not a good one, actually. Yeah, not really many came out. Oh, and I got a Did you see I Tenet? Got one. Uh, no, I heard it was really good though. Uh, my boy said it was really good. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Um, the Devil All the Time on Netflix. 
Tom Holland and oh, Netflix movies, true. Um, mm. Yeah, I saw Hubie Halloween this year. That was hilarious. I was going to say, bro, that <laughs> might be up there, bro. Hubie Halloween. Hubie. I don't know if I want to say that was the best movie this year, but uh, for That's me, the only one I've as watched. a person who watched like four or five movies this year, that was yeah. up there. <laughs> That's actually one you should watch. That that movie might be a classic. I think you were telling years. me about that. Yeah. It's yeah. funny because like, he just hallmarks back to like all of his old classic movies. And it's based in Salem, Mass. So like yeah. everyone's New England AF. Yeah, that was really fucking good. I I hope he continues to do local movies too. Do you have a? When did Hunt hit? No, Uncut Jones been out for a while. Um, movie would probably be that because I really haven't watched any. Maybe Halloween TV show Mandalorian. Oh, you what know what movie I watched? It was year. an animated movie, and it was hilarious because I went with two other people, and we were the only people in the theater because it was like June. <laughs> it was at the new Salem movie theater. Oh, that's yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's they were at the time. I don't think they are right now. But oh, yeah, so cool. this movie is called Akira. Oh, I heard a bunch of people talking about that. It's a great movie. Really? You got there's more in the manga. Bad Boys for Life came out this year. That movie was terrible. Oof. Yeah, that was just like a cash grab. Do you guys want a spoiler alert for that one? No. Okay. I mean, well, I mean, I'm not gonna watch it, but I don't really care. Um, what else came out? Doolittle came out. Uh, no, that was uh, Robert Downey Jr., one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Um, Wait, that was a bad movie? Horrible. Dude. Really? Real Damn, he bad. hyped that up, dude. Yeah. He went on Rogan like, right after that came out, right? Yeah. Um, I, he, I think he talked about how that was kind of a miss. Yeah. Yeah, he talked what, about it. I thought that movie... What? Doolittle, dude? Now, where he's talking to animals. Like, yeah, he played Dr. He Dr. redid Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle, but it was so I thought on Rogan he was saying like he was going to be dope movie, dude. Like He was taking it wicked serious. I think they recapped it on Rogan. He, I think he said that he did take it serious, but it didn't work. <laughs> really? I thought he was saying, like, it's going to be a good movie. I don't know. He might have. I know um, he went in on Rogan about, like, how he, like, pulled his character from this, like, wicked, wacky wizard guy. Right. I do remember that. Now he that. wanted to take Doolittle in, like, a whole new direction. Maybe that was it then. Um, I take mine back. Uh, the Gentleman with Matthew McConaughey. It was directed by Guy Ritchie, who directed the Sherlock Holmes movies. Great fucking director. Um, yeah, The Gentleman with Matthew McConaughey, definitely the best movie. And Charlie Hunnam from Sons of Anarchy. They're in the. Oh no shit. They uh, were in a movie that came out earlier this year. Um, yeah, that was probably better than The Devil All the Time on Netflix, but there hasn't been that much this year. No, because they couldn't go to theaters. Like, couldn't publish them in theaters, so. Do you have a top Except, one? No, not really. I mean, yeah. I watched The Queen's Gambit. That was a good Netflix series that came out this year. Yeah, that's my favorite show this year. I thought that was going to be the next question, so I was going to say The Queen's Gambit. Mm. Easily it's my favorite this year. Warren, bro. It's the only show I watched. True, yeah, I don't <laughs> have a... I mean, that was season two that came out this year. I really think these five episodes are the best thing that came out this year? Yes. <laughs> it's the only thing I've watched, so yes. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I love fair. chess so much that the Queen's Gambit's just gonna hit home with me every time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to that, watch like, that. That like cheated for me because that movie combined drugs and chess. It's both my. Like, <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Um. I guess so. Do, do you have a best show? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna copy you. I mean, I watched a bunch of old shows this year, but like same, same. Yeah. Dude, The Office is finally leaving Netflix. Yeah, I did want to talk about that. I didn't know if uh, how much longer you guys wanted to go. I'm pretty sure we're nearing. I'm fucking doing pretty good. We can. We'll we'll go in the last few. Um, so we can come back with the best of 2020 stuff. We'll do more of that probably next week. God, what else do I want to get to on these? Um, PayPal rewards. I didn't know that was a thing. Did you know that was a thing? No, the Venmo rewards. I don't know. That's they probably yeah. If it's like PayPal, I haven't I think used PayPal Venmo. Owns Venmo. They definitely have something. You have PayPal, Venmo, PayPal rewards are this shit. I didn't know I had them, and I they've probably been out since PayPal's been out. But since I've been ordering shit on PayPal since I was like fucking nineteen, I have over fifty thousand points. One point is one penny, so I have over five hundred dollars. Oh, on PayPal, Oof. just to spend. So, yeah. Uh, if you have PayPal and you're using it, check out your PayPal rewards. Because you're racking them up. I had no fucking idea. Bloody ass toilet seat. Why did I write? Th- oh, my God. I don't know if I want to get into this. I'm going to throw up. 
Okay, I'll skim through these two things. Um, Hard Kill on Netflix. Worst movie I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of movies. Just came out this year, 2020. Netflix movie. Hands down, 0 out of 10. It was that bad. 0 out of 10 hard kills, bro? Yeah. (laughs) 0 out of 10 plantations. It was that bad, dude. It was fucking rough. (laughs) Um, So, uh, it's one of those movies where... You know exactly what's going to happen, and it happens. The acting is horrible, and it was so bad that I couldn't finish it. I haven't been able to not finish a movie in, in a little while, um, and it was only like an hour and 20 minutes. So the fact I couldn't finish it, Bruce Willis is in it. That's why I watched it. I was like, oh, new movie. Bruce Willis, worst movie I've ever seen. Um, I honestly recommend watching it because of how bad it was. The Maze Runner trilogy. Maze Runner is out on Hulu. Have you guys seen it? Read the books? Nah. Really good. You should watch it. <laughs> Okay, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to run through because there's a few more. Um, not just on those, but Wayne, YouTube original. You have YouTube red, right? Watch it. it. Takes place in Brockton, Mass. It's about a kid in Brockton, Mass. He fucking kills his dad. It's so fucking good, dude. It's amazing. Um, you haven't seen it, Wayne? Man. Really fucking good. Um, they get the Boston accents down to the Lynn Mass accent down to a fucking fucking beautiful. Gun to your head, would you rather go to Moon or Mars? They're both livable. They're both habitable. Mars. Where would you rather go? Wait, have but we everything explored is the everything? Same? Huh? Have we explored everything? Oh, good question. I didn't think that far into it. Is Let's everything see. the same as it is now? But I just live in a pod. <laughs> yeah, like, is there like... So I guess there's colonies on both. Mars, There's bro. cities they on got, both. They don't got that much gravity, right? The moon has less gravity. Yeah, the moon has less gravity. The moon is a lot colder. Wait, so then I'd go to Mars because it has more gravity. Okay. It's fuck bouncing around, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a... Like, yeah, out of everything you could have answered that with. Um, yeah, so the yeah. city's on both. I would assume Mars is really hot and the moon's really cold. You know, there's like really... Bad weather there. Like it's just in Mars, right? Weather. Yeah. How is that hotter, bro? Because it's closer to the sun. No, it's not. I don't think it is. It's the opposite direction. It goes my Mercury, Venus, yeah, I think Earth, you're right. Mars. I think you're right. Wouldn't it be I colder, think you're right. bro? It might be colder, but it's bigger, so the sun hits more of it. I heard it was warmer in Mars. I'm also like, depends on like their atmosphere. Right. How yeah. True. Sun goes through it. Yeah. My mind just clicked to seeing it. Was it's warmer. also red, so your brain is just like it's definitely Heat. hotter. Bro, you think <laughs> aliens had slaves, bro? Had they have slaves? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Currently, and it's us. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I was thinking like, did you see that another one of those like metal things came yeah. down somewhere? It's gone. It's gone again. Someone moved it. Oh my god. They fucked it all up. Did you guys remember those articles of um, the, all the UFO sightings and the videos in Nevada that came out in March of 2020? But yeah. since COVID came out, they went away. And when you look them up now, they're not on the internet anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. We talked about them on the very first episode. Yeah. Yeah. It's not That's on the internet fucking anymore. fucking dirty, dude. Aliens, ma'am. It do be like that, though. It do yeah. be like that, though. Oh, my I mean, guy. what did, did NASA confirm? Like, they said, like, there's definitely... Yeah, they that did. That was what it was in March. They said that. Yeah. But oh, like, well, there were videos then that came along with... Uh, well, oh, that, I'm sure I think there's that was always a separate been, thing, like, too. Yeah, because there's mad videos all the time. And... What was your Moon or Mars thing? <laughs> i probably go Mars, just because, like, I would think there'd be more sunlight... Yeah. Because, like, the moon's behind the Earth from the sun for, like, a little while. Yeah. We don't know what else. Yeah, no, that's probably, yeah. So. The moon's a lot smaller. Oh, yeah. How long do you think it would take to run around? Let's say, I'm like, it's a colony, right? And they like, see you on yo, <laughs> we're recruiting you to, like, explore this planet. Or is it, like, I just go grocery shop and I work and I shit <laughs> and I go to bed? I think for terms of the hypothetical it's the second one yeah uh yeah it's looking mars <laughs> yeah. i guess i'll go mars too yeah moon would be cool to visit though one sixth gravity just i would bouncing think that around mars has those like the like lightning storms that like it's red bro that like rip the planet apart <laughs> like you know what i mean yeah they have, they have, like, some they have volcanoes up. that are like the size of like asia yeah right <laughs> right right but so, there's volcanoes on Mars? There's all oh, sorts hell of yeah. fucked up shit. Dude. Why do you think it's red? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. There are volcanoes. 
But it's a hundred percent volcano. It's like our biggest volcano is like my pinky nail, and like their biggest volcano is like our biggest volcano. Yeah, for fuck's sake, dude, the size of Asia. The worst comparison, but it made sense. <laughs> just kind of yeah. <laughs> That's um, fucked up. I'll probably go Mars too, but I guess I would, that'd be considering we found a safe part of it. I don't know. Either way, gun to your head, five pet snakes or two pet mongooses. Snakes. How big are the mongooses? Like this big? Dude. Yeah. They're Google. vicious little cunts, dude. Yeah. Okay, I'll say yeah. five. I'd say snakes. Cobras. Oof. King I cobras. can't play with them. Or the two pet snakes. <laughs> or mongooses, sorry. They're like ball pythons. They're just booing. I have to go with mongoose then, bro. I that... shouldn't say, what's a vicious snake that's not that big, but it'll fuck you up? Well, uh... Be anything like bad. venomous, probably. It's like kind of hostile. I think it's like... Maybe we should go non-venomous. If it's non-venomous, bro, I'm picking the snake. Yeah. But it's st- it can still bite you and fuck you up. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> You'll take it. Just... We're, also, we're also thinking, like, this thing's gonna live with us. Probably just gonna keep it in a terrarium. Right. It's like gonna well, you keep well, yeah. mongooses in a cage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but dude, I feel like those little fuckers would get out, dude. <laughs> yeah, they would. Yeah, like a snake will bite you, be and out. Hug you. Huh? A snake probably really won't bite you if you feed it. Five snakes, dude. You're going to have to get a few aquariums for that, or whatever there are. Terrarium. Terrarium, thank you. But think of bro. You could stack up five snakes right here. All set, bro. Yeah. You feed them whenever they want. You put them in little shelves. And you get a mongoose, bro. The things would be shitting and pissing in there, bro. So you have to, like, deal with it and i feel like it's like a snake you can like tap them if i was on a farm and i could have a wild or a domesticated mongoose <laughs> Fuck just gun free range head. mongoose on my farm <laughs> <laughs> gun to your head tiger or bear and what am i doing your it's your pet sorry oh. <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> just kind, that's it <laughs> so um, a kind of bear yeah probably a bear though unless it's like a Ginormous like polar bear. Well, like I don't know. Yeah. Bear. If it's a black bear. Well, because you can say that about bear. the tigers too. That's to my next question, bro. Okay, so a Siberian tiger or a black bear? Black bear. Siberian tigers. It will fucking murder you. <laughs> They're huge. They'll fuck you up. Uh, probably black bear. Though. I think I do a black bear too. Siberian tigers. They'll like. I feel like I've watched Coda and like Big Brother enough. So... <laughs> <laughs> the bears are generally friendly in the depictions, right? Yeah, you just don't fuck with their kids, bro. I was going to say, the Canadians fuck with bears. They're in their homes and shit all the time. They don't fucking Sorry, do anything. Video, bro. This guy was sitting at a campfire. Yeah. This the just... fucking bear was there. Right. And he just like put his mouth around his knee, bro. Looked at him and walked away, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the Did you see the one where the guy, the, the guy like, grabbed the bear, like, in the mouth? And he was just, like, like gnawing on his hand. He wasn't chomping, though. I don't know. It was like his pet. Well, they got the fucking... There's a bunch of, bunch of people in Russia that do videos like that, too, though. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see anyone Clark's doing that with tigers. Post, <laughs> what? Park Shredding Post, bro. Yeah. They got the bears that do the they fucking shows. Right? They yeah. up fucking on... little boats Yeah, and grab shit, the balls. Whatever. Yeah, bears are definitely the friendlier depictions because you don't see people playing with tigers. Like, there's a few, but I think bears, like you see videos of bears interacting with families in a funny way. You don't see videos of tigers interacting with yeah, families in a funny fuck way. People up, bro. Yeah, it's either they're fucking people up or like the people have abused it so much right. that it's just like this like shy, like yeah, right, oh, dog. God. Yeah, that got dark. <laughs> All right, gun to your head, bro. Yep, a dick in your ass or a dick in your mouth. How long? Why do I have to go here? <laughs> Why not? Gun to your head, man. I don't know. Gun to my head, probably my mouth. I have to give up my booty hole, dude. You're a braver soul than I. I think I would... T- I'd have I to bite know, the man. pillow and just take one for the team, bro. I don't dude, know. That's going to be in your mouth, bro. I've gotten a finger in the pooper before by a doctor, and I freaked out. I did, too. But I feel like I don't know I, if I, I could take, take a, it. but that's a finger, man. I don't know if I can take fucking multiple fingers. You know, a dick width yeah. is bigger than how a goddamn. Is, how big is? Yeah, is he going in dry? Yeah. Huh? Is he going in dry? No. No. Okay. I mean, I still probably do mouth, but like, we should probably get that. actually. <laughs> you know, if he had a condom on, I'd a hundred percent do mouth. Because oh, then yeah. I'd just be putting my oh, mouth on a condom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if, if it was in your mouth, no condom. But if it's in your ass, condom, I guess that would be like the scenario. No. <laughs> just lube. Just, just lube, okay. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go in my... 
I'm like 51 mouth, 49 ass right now. I don't know. It's hard. I don't know, man. Not the dick. The question. <laughs> I don't know. I have to go get my booty hole. You go with your booty. I don't want no peni in my mouth, bro. So we'll do mouth booty, and I'm and I'm leaning more mouth than booty. Do you got any more gun to your head? You just spun to your head. You got any more? I'll try to think of one. Gun to your head, stuck in a time loop, in the same day for the rest of your life. Nope. As a survivor, it's only two options, and they're both time loops. The first one is in Auschwitz. The second one is in the 9/11 building as it's falling. Auschwitz, bro. Um, probably the 9-11 building. I'm doing the 9-11 building. Because I feel like if I had to relive that enough times... I would do... My that. sense of adrenaline <laughs> and no, like, knowledge of the building would become so immaculate that eventually I would get out. Yes. And, like, Auschwitz, if you're starting there, you're, like... Wait, already, so we could escape it? You're already beaten down. Well, you're in the building that's falling. Like you have a, I, don't I know. feel like, unless you're on, like, the tippity-top floors, you have a better chance of getting out Maybe of Maybe I should the spice buildings. it up then. Well, yeah, no, because you have a chance of escaping Auschwitz, too, so yeah. Dude, if I relive it enough, but listen, there's more Jews than there See, is fucking... See, both of those scenarios would actually be fun to me. No, that sounds fucked up. But in a time loop scenario, like, because you could just murder people in Auschwitz as a little Jew and then die and then restart and find a better way to do it. Or at 9-11, find different ways down the building, you know, just f- uh, fuck a lady real quick because you're going to die anyways and then just wake up and try <laughs> something else. You know what I mean? You could do so many different things. But I'm doing 9-11 because I would want to try different ways of jumping out the window, seeing where I can land. <laughs> <laughs> see what it looks like. Just watch the building, see if the bombs blew up in the building or if it was really the plane, you know. All that shit. So I'm going 9-11. You're, you're doing Auschwitz? Yeah. Yeah. 9-11. Actually, now you kind of put it like that. I mean, right? I do Auschwitz. Just because, like, you get the master plan going. Right? That sounds like it, fun. Because, like, yeah. are you saying you you live one day and you have one day to escape? I don't know. If, uh, yeah. I just or it's like, so do you remember Or it's just you relive which one. Like, you relive. You start at the same day. I wrote It's just whenever you loop. die. So I guess... So I feel like if I remembered yesterday and kept having to do it, and I was like, there's a way to do this so I could get out, I'd pick Auschwitz. I, should I guess, yeah. Every time you go to sleep like, or um, you die, you have to restart that day. So I don't really know. It's like that movie, bro. Yeah. With, I was uh, telling you about. With Tom Cruise. Mm, yeah. no. That's a good one, too. Um, night before, no, la, la, day after tomorrow, something like Edge of Tomorrow, I think. Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. Um, but the Happy one you're talking Duke. about with Andy Happy. Sam Andy Samberg? No. No. There's also Five Hundred Days of Summer, isn't that the one? That's the one with Andy Samberg, I think. No, that's a different one. Still a good one. <laughs> I don't know what one you're thinking of. Happy but, yeah. New Day. Happy Death Day. We talked about. It, yeah. So right. 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 Fuck him. She gets murdered on her birthday. She relives it as soon as she gets murdered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I, um, yeah, I guess I don't know if you can escape those scenarios or maybe maybe you find a way out, but you still have to survive the scenario on each of them. So I'd still pick nine eleven, and it's quicker. Right? You know? Do you win if you not don't die slash go to sleep in Auschwitz? Is this is that how you get out of the time loop? <laughs> yeah, maybe if you escape Auschwitz and then go to sleep somewhere else, then you, you escape, get out of it. If you escape death, bro, you get out of it. Right? Yeah, that'd be a good movie. That's that's the alternate timeline okay. theory. <laughs> in every movie yeah okay well that was those were all my gun to your head we flew through uh everything else i think i got through everything all right bro you know what time it is we're ending on a joke this week did you have any quick story you want to run off i got a good one but i'll save it okay i'll, it's, juice, it's I'll think of some more juicy ones okay but so this is my impersona- impersonation of santa after the civil war we have to get rid of who to start making these toys? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah That's racism. a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was with my family over the weekend. We were talking about like just like my fucked up family, bro. And I, they brought up a really good point. Is like my uncle for like 12 years straight, bro, would always come up to us and be like, this is my last Christmas. I'm dying. And like 
every year, bro, like he did it. <laughs> it was so fucked up. That's dude. really dark. <laughs> He's fucked. But like we would always be like, is it really his last Christmas? Is this the like, same uncle you were referring to to me earlier? Too? Yeah. 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 So fucked. But like he's always just like I have cancer. Like this is my last. Jesus Christmas. Christ! <laughs> but like he did, did he it, like, like use that to justify something, or did he just no, throw he just, that out there just, every year? He, he just, just wanted to ruin Christmas bro. every year. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I remember like the first few times I'm like, <laughs> he said that last. I just want he said that before. That's sad. <laughs> and then like now I'm thinking about it. I'm like that motherfucker said that for like 12 years straight, bro. And like we're just like. Oh damn, he's gonna die, bro. Gonna <laughs> what if he has cancer and he's just beating it? Fuck him. I wish he had cancer and died. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> no, he's not a good guy. All right. I can I can back from the, the yeah. <laughs> from you prior know stories. I think I do, yeah. yeah. Still wishing cancer on him is fucking. Yeah, good. dude. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, this was episode 28. Uh, thank you, Dawson, for coming through. We do want to have you on. I forgot that we were calling him Dawson Man. Is that what it was? He said Dawson. Did we? Yeah. I forget, yeah. We forgot it. Thank you for coming through. We do want to have you back on the pod. My um, pleasure. Yeah, we do have to. We got to get a whole guest lineup. I posted on shits to see if people wanted to come through. I don't. I didn't look at any of it, but we're gonna get Theo Vaughn on now, bro. Yeah, it's fuck now you. We can, now we can get him on, bro. We got a place. I guess. Yeah. I'm just gonna. DM I'm just him not every gonna day. be excited about it. So I'm gonna DM him every, him every day, bro. He will have to. Even if he DMs me from his social media account, I won't believe it. I'm gonna think that you somehow did something. So I'm just gonna be like, Nah, dude, call me, like Facetime me or something, like. Patreon.com slash TBV podcast. Uh, Facebook.com slash TBV podcast. Twitter.com slash TBV podcast. Uh, uh, 603-922-4074. Email is uh, brutalview at gmail.com. Uh, Cue the fucking outro music. We'll be back next Tuesday, bitches. Happy December 8th. December 8th.